series voltage sources and parallel current sources. So if you have series voltage sources, you can combine them into one voltage source. So looking at this, uh, first we have we have V one. V1, V2, and V3. So if you have, if you want to combine this into a single source, having this polarity, positive negative. So this is equivalent to V1 plus V2 minus V3. So with parallel current sources, you can also combine them. So if you have I1 going this direction, I2 going downwards and I3 is the same as I1 then you combine them into one current source this will become I1 minus I2 plus I3 so resistors in series so resistors in series is when just two resistors connect at a single node so this a single node and only two resistors r1 and r2 are connected so r1 and r2 are in series so in series resistors they carry the, the same current so the order in which elements are placed does not matter so if you interchange r1 and r2 so they still have the same uh, current. Oh. So for series resistors, you can combine combine them into an equivalent resistance. So how do we combine uh, series resistances? So looking at this uh, circuit here, we have. You apply KVL. So let's write this here. We have VS is just equivalent to I I times R1 plus I times R2 plus That, that plus I times Rn. Where N is the number of resistors in series. So if we factor out I, I, we have R1 plus R2. Plus that, that, that. Rn. So this right here is equivalent resistance for series resistors. So for series resistors, what you have to do is add the uh, resistances. Now for resistors in parallel. So, you can say that a resistor is in parallel when they are connected at a single pair of nodes. So, if you take a look at R1 and R2, they are connected to a single pair of nodes. So, this node and this node. So in parallel parallel resistors, they have equiv equivalent voltages. So same with the series resistors, the order in which elements are placed does not matter. So in parallel resistors, you can also get the equivalent uh, resistance. So for example, let's label this as node A. So KCL at node A, so we have 
is equal to P over R1 plus B over R2 plus plus B over Rn so where n is the number of resistors in parallel so if you factor out V so we will have V uh, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus plus that, 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 plus 1 over Rn so this expression right here is equivalent to 1 over R equivalent 1 over R1 over R2 plus one over Rn. If we take a look at these figures, so so for figure A, so for figure A, we have two elements. So these elements are connected in parallel. And in series. So if we take a look at this node here, this node here, they are both connected to this node pair. So they are in parallel. But if you take a look at this node here, only the two of them are connected. The same with this node right here, two of them are only connected. So for figure B, take a look at this node and this node. So this is just the same. So we can say that R2 is parallel with R3. And R1 is just in series with R8. So for uh, figure C No elements are connected in series or in parallel so sample problems combining circuit elements We have two simple examples so for the first example we have Solve for V So we can see in the circuit that the, uh, this is composed of Two resistors in parallel, and then uh, three current sources in parallel. We can combine them into one current source and one resistor. So for the current source, we have. Let's label this as IS and R equivalent. So IS is equivalent to 5 plus 6 minus 1 to 10 amperes. So R equivalent is R equivalent 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 so solving for our EQ we have our EQ equal to 5 ohms we have 10 and then 5 now solving for V so since V 
uh, since all of these components are in parallel, so V just spin just across this R equivalent. So therefore, V just equivalent to IS times REQ equivalent to equals. Now for the next example, solve for i. So we can combine these series resistors and these series voltage sources. So we can combine them into one voltage source and one resistor. Uh, Vs and REQ. So Vs is just equivalent to 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals to 10 volts. And REQ is just equivalent to 15 plus 5 plus 25 equivalent to 45 ohms so solving for i we have i i is just equivalent to vs over req so i is just equivalent to 1 over 3 amperes